Hey guys, uh, so today's video is just going to be me kind of playing with some new makeup that I haven't got to try yet. Um, uh, it's just kind of been sitting in my drawer and just staring at me waiting for me to use it. So I just grabbed some things that I've been wanting to try um, and yeah, we're just going to kind of hang out, maybe chat a little bit, do some makeup. So hopefully you're either getting ready with me or you have me playing while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing and we're just chilling because we're alone. But we're alone together. So let's just let's just get started, shall we? So I'm just gonna put my hair back because as you can see it's kind of just like doing its own thing right now. So we're gonna have to just get it out of my face. Um and I'm already like skincare prepped all that stuff is ready to go um so we're gonna start with the eyeshadow palette and again I haven't tried this and this is literally oh I got this a while ago already like it's been months and as you can see it is still perfectly new I know I know yell at me because how can this just be sitting in my drawer and never be touched I know I'm the worst anyways this is what we're gonna use today so it should be fun um and usually I'll kind of like prep my eye with concealer um, and I'm not going to be, I'm using a concealer again that I haven't used, it's the um, new Hourglass Concealer and I've never tried this on myself so I hope it's good enough to use as an eye primer and if it's not we'll find out. We're just chilling, you know, we're just having a good old time. I am going to have like music playing as softly as possible in the back just because I need it. Hopefully you can't hear it at all because I don't want to get flagged on my video. This is kind of, and as you can see, I haven't done my eyebrows in a really long time. Um, and that's purposeful. I just started getting like pluck happy. It was just kind of going crazy on my brows and they just started like not growing back the same. So... I've just been not touching them for a while, um, but it's been a good time. And to be honest, like I feel like now when I do my brows, I like them more, how they're like kind of unkept. They just look nice. I like how it looks. So I don't know, maybe this will be my new life with unkept brows. Also, I hope the stuff that I grabbed, like the foundation and obviously this concealer that I use is going to be... The right color because sometimes I just be guessing okay um, I'm gonna set down a little bit of powder there's not like um, a p color in here that's like my skin tone so I'm just gonna use like my translucent powder Honestly, I feel like I might be a little out of touch with makeup these days because it's been a really long time just because, um, I don't know, when I've been going to work lately, it's just been like, I haven't been doing much and it's just my own thing, like, I don't know, I just, I so much rather do makeup on others than like myself because it's just so much more fun, but I don't know, I guess... Hopefully, I'm saying all this just because I'm hoping that I can still do makeup on myself. Because, who knows. I'm just taking this supreme color. It's a pink color. On a fluffy brush. Oh, I guess this is a morphe brush, isn't it? I was super excited when this palette came out too because... I don't, I'm not like, uh, I don't watch Jackie Aina a lot, but like sometimes like if her like titles like catch my attention or whatever, like I'll watch, or if just her makeup looks bomb, I'll like watch. Um, but when I seen the palette, I was like, damn, that should look nice. And these palettes, like this style palette from Anastasia is just really good. They've just always been, obviously that whole drama with subculture happened, but honestly, I like subculture. It worked for me, so, I mean, to each their own, you know, but I just really liked the, like, um, 
structure of subculture, like the colors that it had. It was just really nice. So, how many of you guys use TikTok? Because, <laughs> shamefully, I'm just so addicted. It's freaking crazy. Like, I will spend hours on there. And if you watch TikTok a lot, you probably know that, like, sometimes when you're scrolling, this little ad that TikTok placed will just be put in there and be like, hey, you've been scrolling for a really long time. Maybe you should, you know, get off and go to sleep or do something else, you know, maybe, like, take a minute off. So that's happened to me before, and I'm just like, wow. Like, for the app itself to tell you, bitch, like, get off, like, that, that really says something. So, but now I feel because of everything, like, going on right now, like, quarantine and stuff, um, I feel like everyone's making videos now on there, and I'm just like, I literally, I went on the app once to, like, see, like, what it looks like to make a video, like, like, if you're about to make one, and it just looks so confusing, and I'm like, what? How do you even, like, it just looked confusing as hell, so it was like, nope, not for me. I see that now, but I mean, who knows? Um, so yeah, so that's what that looks like so far. I think I want to do purpley, so I'm probably going to do big wig. So now that it's kind of just like chilling there, I just didn't do it a little bit because I realized I was kind of far. I feel like now tutorials are kind of, I won't say that they're pointless because some of my friends that like aren't doing makeup and stuff, they like they're like, dude, I don't know how to do makeup at all. So tutorials are great. Um, but I just feel like so many people already know what they're doing. Like, because makeup became such like a huge popular thing, it was just like everybody already knows what the fuck they're doing. Nobody needs us anymore. Um, but I don't know. Maybe that's untrue. It's not really blending how I want it to, but I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna kind of go over with the bigger brush. So I'm currently out of work. I'm not working right now. Um, I don't know what your guys' situation is, whoever is watching this. I feel like mostly it's my friends who watch this, so hi, how are you? Um, but yeah, Sephora is closed, as is a lot of other non-essential um, businesses. So, I this is this will be the first time I'm putting makeup on since I've um, not been going to work, which has been a little over a week already. I'm trying to decide between. So these are the two colors I have now. I'm trying to decide between this one, the situation, that's cute, or Zam. Of course, it's easier to go with Zam. You know what I'll do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take um, a flat brush like that. I'm gonna take lituation, lituation, lituation. Yeah, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna put that kind of like um, in the middle of my eye. Yeah, it is dark. I was like, I feel like it might come out lighter than what I'm expecting, but no, it's dark. She's still cute though. So I'm just taking a really little bit of that. Now that there's not a lot on my brush, I'm going to just kind of put it on the inner of my eyelid as well. I like it. I'm going to take um, that pink color that I was first using again and just kind of go over the side because I feel like that purple was blending out really weird on this side, and I just want to correct it a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of Zam after all. I'm gonna put that kind of over it, just for the lulls of it. This does look like it's more of like one of those like topper shades, anyways. A little bit more on like the chunky side. Oh yeah. More like glitter. 
I really want to do, I just placed an order for a bunch of um, Sephora collection items. Um, so I want to do a video of just like um, a full face of like all those products because I feel like, um, I feel like I don't really see that a lot online. Like I don't think a lot of people talk about that, um, that brand, those products. So I just wanted to, um, a lot of stuff will be like my first time trying to because um, I, I, a lot of it I haven't tried before either. So that'll be fun. Um, so this is what it's looking like now. I am going to take a little bit more of that purple color. Um, and then probably after that I'll probably take a little bit of that dark brown shade. Just because I want it to be a little bit more vibrant. That purple looked a little weird on this side and now it's looking like slightly muddy so hopefully it'll come together i've definitely been like struggling like with my anxiety and stuff with all the stuff going on just because it's just a lot you know it's a lot going on and um it's hard when you feel like you can't exactly trust your government and they're making decisions for you um so yeah i've been just trying not to like let it get to me but it's definitely easier said than done but i feel like something that comforts me and it's kind of like um not that it's a negative but like it's not that great that so many people are going through it but it's kind of just like that you're not going through it alone you know that a lot of other people are dealing with the same thing as you so see this is why i don't understand how people can do their brows first i like i'm literally putting eyeshadow on my brow right now like how do you i don't know i don't get it okay that's looking pretty fine pretty whatever i don't think i'm gonna do heavy liner but i grabbed this um, Urban Decay pencil liner. It's called Rockstar. It's like a... I've obviously used Urban Decay liners before, but this is the first time I'm trying this color. It's like a deep purpley brown. So I'm just going to kind of run it along my lash line. So that's it for the eyes for now. I'm going to move on to my skin. Um, I'm going to use... Pat McGrath foundation. Again, had this for a while, but have not tried it yet, so I'm excited. And then I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques sponge to put it on. When we got trained on this product, they said the best thing to use it with is like a beauty blender. Um, obviously this isn't a beauty blender, but it's a sponge, so I feel like. It should work well with it. For people that have tried like both the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques, do you have a preference? I feel like I can't really tell much of a difference, but I know some people are like ride or die for like one or the other. what the foundation looks like I like it it's like it's all right um I would say it's like a medium coverage for sure it's like a satin like a natural matte finish um so I'm gonna use the new hourglass concealer I've tried this on a lot of clients and I every time I put it on them I'm like yes 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 the brush that they came out with this concealer oh my god wish we got that because holy crap it is so nice she's pretty i usually i mean i don't feel like i need a lot of coverage under my eyes so i put a pretty small amount just because sometimes i feel like when you overdo it with concealer it's like very noticeable and since i feel personally like i don't need a lot i don't really put a lot i feel like that's more than i did on the other side but 
Wow, I actually really like that. I feel like I struggle more with um, finding nice concealers than I do with finding nice foundations. Like, I found a lot of concealers that I hate, <laughs> but not a lot that I, like, love. I'm actually gonna, um, for powder, I do have a lot of powders that I could, like, open and try, but, like, I'm not really a powder person. Like, I'm not big on powders, so, um, I'm probably just gonna use the powder that I already know that I, like, like. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it all over to do my brows off camera because I don't have any new brow products. Do I? Oh, I guess I have this. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I usually use the um, Give Me Brow. And I love the Give Me Brow. So usually for like my brows, I'll like put this on and then go in with the pencil. Oh, this is nice. I like the color. Okay, so what my brows look like now. I'm gonna put a little bit of this powder on. Sorry, I'm gonna put a little bit of this powder on. I'm gonna fill in the rest of my brow with my regular brow pencil, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, the brows are on. Um, Next, I'm going to finish my eyes, so I'm going to take um, my palette again. I have a mess on my desk right now. But honestly, what else is new? So, I'm trying to think if I should put eyeliner. I'm going to not, and then I'll see if I change my mind. Um, so again, I'm going to start with the pink color. I realized when I was doing my brows, like, finishing them. Um, I definitely think I like the, um, uh, the Benefit Gimme Brow more than that milk. Um... What is it called? Like Hydro Kush Fiber Brow. Sorry. Um, I think I like the Benefit one better. Um, I just feel like it's less like messy. Like this got on like my skin really easily. Um, and I kind of like it to be like almost like a little bit drier. But maybe again, maybe it's just because it's like a new product. So it's like super fresh but if you like um like cruelty free and like vegan products only that milk is um i think the whole milk brand is vegan and cruelty free so that might make your mind for you um and again now i'm going to take the big wig color everything I did on the top I'm doing in the bottom I feel like for the most part um honest I'll see the shadows are pretty like standard I haven't really tried a palette that I didn't like of hers like performance wise like she came out with um what is that girl's name Carly Bybell I think that's how you say her name Carly Bible, Bible. Is that her real name or is it because she's like religious? Interesting. I don't know. Um, but the palette that they came out together, I did not like that one. Um, like the colors of it, I mean. I'm sure it's a good palette. Like quality wise, I'm sure it's good. But I didn't like the colors. Sometimes when I have like more like smoky, like sultry or like makeup on the eyes, I think that um, mascara looks better than like lashes. So I'm gonna think about that because I don't know what I want to do yet. But as I'm thinking about that, I'm gonna do the rest of my complexion. <sighs> I'm not gonna try a new highlight because. 
I think I only have like one new highlight and it's like didn't really look like my color anyway so I'm just gonna you know do me so I'm gonna use the Emreezy one just one of my faves since I've been gone because I obviously haven't posted a video in a really long time I've like especially of like I mean doing makeup because my last video I think was oh my kit one um I like fall in love with blush like I really cannot get enough blush in my life so I also don't have a new bronzer huh I literally just like, grabbed what I could find. What have I not used on camera? Let's do the Fenty. Fenty's a little dark on me, but whatever. She's cute. She's so cute. There's my shit. I use Private Island because this is what I got. But um, I think Shady Biz would have been like a perfect color for me. I've been like since on this like quarantine and stuff and not working because I'm not only like because I know some people are like working from home but I'm not I'm just not working right now um because you can't really work from for a makeup company at home unless you're like more on like the business side of stuff but um Oh, I've been like um, making like a bunch of playlists for my music because I have a bunch of like I use I have Spotify premium so I have just like a bunch of music saved um, and like liked or whatever so I just usually go to like my liked songs and there's like like maybe like 2,000 songs or maybe a little over that like around that number and I'll just hit shuffle and skip until I find something that I like am in the mood to listen to um but now I'm like making a bunch of playlists that are like kind of very specific to either it'll be under like a genre a decade or like a feeling so like I don't know if you guys know what I mean by like a feeling but like there's certain music that like makes you feel like a specific way you know what I mean like it makes you so like what I have on there like hype so anything that makes me feel like excited or like makes me like want to dance or just like gets me going that's like what that is but then I also have like a hip-hop genre or like an underground hip-hop genre or like um uh 90s hip-hop drama so there'll be like uh um multiple genres or multi like the same song can be in like three different like playlists for me I don't know if that made any sense or if you cared which you probably don't but that's what it is now it's blush time um I did grab a new blush it's a Laura Mercier one in rose am I gonna like it though just put it on Adri because if not I'll just use the one I use every single day and it's not the point of this video so. Okay, cool. It's not super pigmented. I don't like blushes that are like hella pigmented. I like ones that are like soft that I can mold nicely. Oh my god, I love blush. Cool. She's cute. She's matte, but she's cute. Okay. So I did decide to put lashes on. So I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. You can't even see my ears because my hair is so big right now. Take off my ears and then I'm just gonna put some lipstick on. And I was super excited to get this in gratis because I love the lipstick already. And then, so it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, they came out with um, like different shades of the pillow talk because pillow talk was so popular so they did a medium and then a dark so I got the medium lip liner and then the regular pillow talk genuinely don't know if it's gonna even go with what I'm wearing 
but I really wanted to wear it so I'm finna. My hair really looks crazy. Oh my god, I love this lip liner so much. So good. Um, pillow talk. God, I love how lipstick smell. My lip. I do wish either the medium was slightly darker or pillow talk was slightly lighter. Um, so you can get a little bit more of that like ombre lip effect. But what I'm going to do is go over it a little bit with a lighter color, with a lighter gloss or something. Ooh, this isn't new, but it's one of my faves. It's White Russian. I'm a gloss gal, guys. I love a gloss lip. So makeup lip, I'm gonna spray it a bit of Smashbox primer water just for the F of it. Literally inhaling it. Whoops. So there you see, there's the finished look. And my face is like wet. Um, let me know what you think. If you've tried any of these products already, if you love them, what new products you've tried lately, how you're coping with this quarantine, whatever you want to let me know, let me know in the comments. Or however, if you know me, text me. How are you? I miss you. I don't know you, but I miss you. Um and yeah that's it hopefully my next video is going to be the a full face of sephora collection item so be on the lookout for that because i'm excited to film it um and that's all i hope you guys stay safe and healthy and stay your ass inside please um and that's it so i'll talk to you guys soon bye